Well, for someone to steal that much smoked salmon, they feel like these thieves, they certainly knew what they were going after. Who stole the smoked salmon? Like a large quantity, over 100 pounds of salmon. That seems like a weird thing to steal. Yeah, but it's a delicious thing to steal. I mean, I guess our stuff is that good that people are willing to risk their life to steal it. Desiree Chin, one of the owners of the Market Seattle Fish Guys, says they're now out thousands of dollars after suspects or a suspect broke in over the weekend. She's got her suspicions. I think for sure someone that's a customer who's been here and know the product, because they also took smoked salmon collars and the salmon jerky. It's one of those things, if you know, you know. You think it's maybe going to end up on a black market somewhere in Seattle? Maybe, maybe in Facebook Marketplace or your local farmer's market, who knows. It's a tough loss for a small business, and all of that salmon will take weeks to recover. Desiree said this crime has also brought attention to other targeted theft in the area. Community businesses have reached out to us that had had similar incidents as well. Whether it's like a coffee shop stealing coffee beans or just a, a CrossFit gym. Undeterred, the family is moving forward despite the challenges. I think it's hard to do business in Seattle though. With some help from the community. Yeah, I heard that they got broken into so I came to support them. Sharing samples of the salmon that's left hoping this is the end of their break and worries. So if you do happen to see any smoked salmon being sold at unauthorized places, be sure to let police know. Right now we're still working to see if there's any surveillance video that might show the people accused of stealing the salmon from that store. In Seattle, Paul Rivera, Come on News.